Welcome back to another episode of We Start the New Year. Well, uh, the moment you will actually see this episode, it already is the new year, so we are already a little bit in. Maybe it's like, uh, maybe even a month or whatever, but let's focus on the things that are actually important, and it is look at the gold gain. It's amazing. All right. So we found ourselves a nice way of getting additional gold by um, facilitating other people's needs. This is basically it. So this is how you make money. Um, you're not there to sell things. You're there to, well, of course you're there to, help, uh, to sell things, but most of the time, or actually all the time you are just there to help out other people and in this case you need to know what other people are buying what other people need and in this case other people need access to these um, excavation shrines and uh, what else do we have in here i do have some cell orders in here let's see uh what to on my cell orders uh this film for example that's a little bit overpriced look at this 2.99 absolutely horrible i think i actually kind of um hit the wrong button there i think that could be true anyway uh 0 0.29 that's definitely much 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 more reasonable when it comes to the turquoise pigment i don't know what's happening there Maybe there's some change in the future. Who knows? Uh, let's just keep everything as is for the moment. Um, we do have still like 20, uh, uh, 20 cell orders that we can adjust. So everything's fine. All right. So uh, for now, let's see. Do I have any interesting items right now that I could sell? The wire fiber, the water mode. Okay. Same goes for the ironing, by the way. That's, it accumulates and someone else has increased their price a little bit, which is a kind of um, strange. Look at this. Uh, it's an increase of 0 0 0.05 uh, and another increase of 0.28. Another increase of 2.1. Point six and another increase of 2.6 so they really want all of the gold ingots for some reason i don't know why i have absolutely no clue to be honest so for me it is better to just well actually it's just okay to just uh have that bio water for the moment the problem is gold ingots may not be the things that are bought and sold all the time and this is where the problem rises so what do we have ah uh, no wait a minute i have an awful lot of uh, water mods right now i usually bought them wait a minute what are my buy orders for the motor modes uh buy orders for the that's strange uh i thought i had put a buy order on water modes in there that's why i have so many of them so the whole thing might have been just satisfied let's see and sell everything for uh 0.99 might be a nice one uh in this case we need to buy uh water modes uh water mode there we go i'm gonna buy all of these it's just 18 and then i'm gonna increase the price to 0.99 Make the whole thing a bit more reasonable, I hope. So, there we go. So, the whole thing for 0.9. There we go. Perfect. Let's just keep that. Uh, and hope that we will actually make some kind of a profit there. Don't know if that actually happens or not. But let's just keep it there. Uh, the better way would be to always adjust the last digits by one unit. So it wouldn't be 0 0.99, it would be 0 0.98 uh, coin per water mode. Alright, uh, let's see what do we have here. 
Is there something wrong with biofiber? Okay, biofiber is finished. That's fine. So let's sell all of that. 4.39, 38 actually. Uh, the thing is, we want to sell all of our stuff immediately. And that's why we want to adjust the values a little bit. So let's do that. Same goes for the fiber, by the way. In this case, we also have to adjust our buy orders a little bit um, in order to get the 0.16. That's just one issue here. Um, there may not be as many interested uh people in there so when it comes to uh buying and selling items try to trade stuff that is not too easy to come by so fibers for example are very easy to come by this is like one of the tier one let's call it them uh tier one ingredients so it's very easy to get them uh when it comes to like other uh, items and so on it may not be as easy to buy and sell them that's just something to keep in mind all right what about the nuts no one has bought any nuts. wait a minute what's wrong with the nuts something is wrong with the nuts uh this is not how you write nuts by the way but we are decently drunk Oh, not 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 sir. It's not a plural, it's a singular. Ah, that's why. So someone else actually buying all of the nuts. And uh, we have 10,000 of them just staying in there. But someone else pays more. So let's just uh, cancel all the buy orders right now. There's something you have to do constantly. Always manage your buy orders. Like, look at this. Right now we are at 8,100 coin just by trading. I didn't really gain all of that amount just by questing, I think. Uh, it could be also uh, sometimes even be obtained by questing. Uh, but most of the time I just did some buying and selling things on the trading post. So, uh, let's just look for Bullrush Cop for now. Um, let's see. Uh, Bullashko. There we go. Okay, so the one that I have is already maxed out. That's the one that we want. We always want to be on top. That's the thing. Always check out uh, on uh, all of your buying orders. And in this case, you shouldn't have too many buy orders because if you have too many, then it gets too difficult to figure out if you're on uh, the top spot or not. Just saying. Um, this one, for example, is pretty good. And the rest might be decently priced as well. So, now... What is it that I could buy uh, and sell, by the way? Uh, let's see. Maybe there's some hide or something. Or leather. Whatever. Iron hide. The thing is, you see an overload of iron hide. Um, but you do not see a nice comparison between buy and sell orders. You always have to click on uh, this little button over there. And in this case, it doubles all of that but uh, the thing that i see here see that 10 thousand four thousand three one one there's an awful lot of items being or at least i try to buy them right um the same goes for the sell orders and it's very close together so this is not something that you want to trade in to be honest uh what you want to do is find yourself a trading spot that is actually twice as much um so the buy orders actually no the sell orders are twice as high as the buy orders and also uh, what you want to have is not as many sell orders to be present so there's uh, let's say you see this 
uh, there's like 10,000 over here, 2,000, another 10,000 over here, another 9,000. So it's an awful lot of raw hide that's getting traded. You don't want all of these to also be in the cell orders. So the amounts here are actually quite nice. So it's an awful lot um, of um, buy orders, but not an awful lot of sell orders, which is okay. Uh, we want to have a little bit of a disparity in there. That's just this uh, strange issue what we have here. That might be okay. That might really be okay what we have here. Yeah, looks like it. Ah, uh, what do we have? <laughs> okay. Uh, as long as we have a slightly higher price, then we might be able to buy it. And maybe even to sell it. But I want to have a slightly better profit margin when it comes to that. So, we know what people want to buy. People want to get access to the expeditions. So, everybody needs to have access to the modes and the chair squeaking right now uh let's just ignore that for the moment in this case what we want is overload of modes as i said um one and one four that's definitely not good um what i'm trying to do now is just to um, find one of those elements that might have a decent profit margin. So this is 10 cents. That's okay, not perfect. Um, I kind of skipped the def mode for that one. And when it comes to uh, special use cases, it may also be useful to have them be part of a crafting recipe for a very good weapon. So in this case, death mode is for good for the white gauntlet, and uh, life mode is good for, of course, the uh, life stab. So let's see for the fire mode. That might be even more useful. Ah, let's look at that. That's pretty good. That's a point four difference and profit there. That might really be pretty decent. Let's see. Uh, but this is a very special resource. That's the only problem. So you need to understand that it's a very special resource and it may take time in order to bring you profit. What we want is profit now and profit easy. That means we need to focus our money gain on a resource that is easily obtainable, but somehow bound uh, behind a crafting action let's call it that so we want something that is not gatherable immediately we want something that has to be transformed therefore like timber or lumber um, like resources that have to undergo a certain crafting process this is something that you can buy and sell and then there is, uh, what else is there? Um, I am looking for iron ingots or something. Something that's very easy to get. Um, but yeah, lumber is one of the easiest to get, right? So let's just look for lumber uh, or timber. Let's look at the price for now. See that? That's amazing. The difference is just absolutely amazing. So you have uh, 1.1 and uh, uh, 0.5. It doubles. And also, an, there's not that much sold in comparison to the stuff that's getting bored for some reason, which is really weird. Um, that means that we can actually try to sell something here. Let's go for, let's say, 5,000. And uh, what do we want to uh, buy it for? 0.2 in this case. Yeah, there's, all, there's always a good margin there. So let's keep it that way. And yeah, we also don't want to just buy and sell things that we think are valuable. Just buy the, uh, the, the, the buy and sell value. We want to buy and sell it because we know it is valuable. The difference there is, uh, of course, the lumber has decent values. 
this is why we think it might be valuable but the actual value comes from the use case and the use case in this game is usually in order to craft a key for a for an expedition and the expeditions need elemental modes in conjunction with a little bit of uh, corruption shards and so on uh, but corruption shots can't be traded. The only thing that can be traded are elemental modes again. So elemental modes are the things to go for because people want to get good items and people want to get good. So therefore we go for elemental modes. Um, so let's just open this window again. I open up the fire stuff. So what I want to do now is find a mode that is... Uh, not just used as a uh, mode itself, um, but also as part of a crafting recipe. So there's a, a twofold use case. In this case, the fire mode and the life modes are the good ones, as well as the water mode and the death mode. Uh, in this case, let's look at that. Uh, so we have 1.4, 1.5. That's actually very close together. So that's not a really good trading uh, proposition. Uh, let's look at the life mode for now and see how the difference uh, is happening. 0 0.6, 0 0.4. Well, there is at least a little bit of a difference there, but not as much. Let's look at the soul mode. Uh, in this, I'm just trying to find uh, if there is a certain profit margin in the modes. Right? And in this case, we find a decent margin in the water modes again. And there's an awful lot of people who buy it. All right. If this stuff gets bought out, that would be pretty neat. Um, but the sell orders, on the other hand, they are fairly restricted. So let's see. Uh, maybe we can also the thing is if you buy and sell all of this right in order to get access to an excavation it is a singular thing and an awful lot of people an awful lot the group benefits from this what we want is to buy and sell items so that only one person benefits from this so that if there's a transaction happening uh, and if there's profit to be gained, then the more people buy, uh, the better our situation, right? So we do not want our items to be shared. Therefore, we do not want to sell uh, excavation keys, right? It's a nice, it's a nice idea in order to get some nice uh, profits from buying and selling modes and all of that. Um, but in a way, it might be better to focus on other things. Uh, maybe even normal crafting recipes for weapons or armor in general, right? Something like this. But we are not looking for armor. We are looking for the ingredients for said armor. Something like that. Um... That would actually be really, really good. That's just one issue. How am I going to figure that out? How am I going to figure that out? And the only way to figure that out is just by guessing, right? Um, because I could just uh, place in a, um, a name. And then it might be something that is somewhat usable to people. So, as I said, um, iron uh, ingots, for example. I don't think that the value is that close together, like this one and this one. Actually, it's pretty decent. It's not twofold, but it is decent. And the iron ingots are used an awful lot. Um, what do we have here? See that? There's an awful lot of buy orders. 8,000, 5,000, nothing, nothing. Uh, and another 5,000 and then you have something moderate down here 
So in this case, I can try something like this uh, and maybe a 5,000 uh, Ein Inga trade order or something like that. Uh, we want to try things that are general in their use case, right? That can be used for multiple purposes. Mm, that means we also want to trade like coarse leather or something like that. That could help. Uh, it's also twofold. What about rugged leather, by the way? Or what about runic leather, right? And this stuff is almost twofold, but it's extremely expensive. So if you only buy and sell like 10 units of them, you almost waste all of your uh, all of your inventory stock, which is not as good, to be honest. And this one right here doesn't have as good of a profit margin, which is kind of a strange as well. Like the same thing here, it's the same profit margin. If you have uh, the early game leather, right? The uh, the coarse leather and the rugged leather. For some reason, they have a decent profit margin. And then it goes down a little bit uh, to layered and infused leather. And then it increases again. So there is a certain dip in the medium uh, or in the, yeah, in the medium levels for some reason. It's kind of strange. But I, I, I actually don't know why. Because there's definitely a need of these items in these levels uh, in order to stay competitive. But there may not be that much need in terms of uh, crafted items. Maybe what happens is people are just... Um, yeah, going into dungeons uh, and getting those items for free. So, crafting is not that big of an issue there. So, what we want is to account for that. Uh, and again, it means modes. Uh, and in this co uh, case, we're going for uh, water, life, or fire, or death modes. Anything that is somewhat correlated to an, to some kind of a weapon. Uh, fire, probably, for the most part. Mm, let's see. Yeah, let's go for a 2000 thingy in here. That could do the trick. So, let's put a buy order on those. Keep it at that. And our inventory is, of course, fairly small right now. I mean, I bought far too much. The episode is definitely far too long again. And what I can do is go all the way up to the uh, broken communication thing, which for some reason does not trigger. Let's do one of those side missions, get a little bit of extra experience and be happy. Crafting orbs. Expedition orbs can be used. So, ah, look at this. Myrtilus is finally part of one of our missions. Let's talk to him. To stare into the foliage invites attack for the land takes ages of hesitancy. Under normal circumstances, we would gladly take you up on the offer of a fight, but these are not normal circumstances. Now, what's the difference about them? Uh, aside from one who is blind to the land, uh, talking with us, the seasons are amiss in verdant ascent. This isn't widely known, but we have lost contact with our brethren in Eden Grove. It is troublesome. Perhaps I can help discover the reason. No, outsiders are not welcome in our affairs. No, we need help with a matter closer to the taproot. In our haste to travel to Eden Grove, our bow has left behind, and we cannot go back for it. Means what? Travel to Piscus to recover Myrtilus's bow. Oh, so it's a um uh, the plural he was talking in uh, was a... Um, is it a reigning plural? Uh, it's a royal plural, actually. Wait, um, I turned the camera again. Ah! The royal plural. 
It's a really cool thing. Ooh. It just sounds nice. And it's usually used in order to um, point to one singular person. Oh, that was quick. Very really interesting. Nice. So, let's just go on forward until we reach this uh, free marker here. Defeat the architect of the depths within the soul. Whoa. No, this is not it. We have to go to number one. Taking an awful lot of damage here, that's not good. Right. That's a stand here? There we go. Next out. Okay. <sighs> Broken communications. This is the uh, the actual mission. So forward and somehow to the right. It's just that these enemies are a wee bit iffy to fight, really. Because of all of their range capabilities. I mean, look at this. As long as they just hold up the shield, everything seems to be fine. Ah, oh, come on. There we go, got it. Now, what's number one? It's like somewhere to the front and to the right. So let's just follow the road, maybe defeat a few of those druids, and we are good. And there's another enemy attacking me from the back, which is kind of weird because this is not supposed to happen. I'm not supposed to uh, regenerate that quicker. But I'm shooting to the left of the face and to the right of the face and all of a sudden nothing happens. Really weird. I just get a wee bit of um, health regeneration there and that should do it. That should do it. Let's uh, say this again. Okay, that one's done for. The spell users are real pain. A real pain, come on. There we go. I just want the fibers. I don't want anything else. By the way, how many more levels for the wire father? Hmm. Could take a wee bit. All right, 188 meters this way. Enough with that movement right now. See that? There was the the the, the was the strange dive happening. See that? Okay. Uh, it happens if you move and if you hit the uh, crouching action at the same time. See that? Bam. So in this case, you can do this like all the time. It's actually a really cool movement, just saying. Only uh, problem now is... Oh, wait a minute. 
need to make sure that I'm not dying here by accident. I mean... I still have to somehow survive. Good. Uh, mining is decent. What about the logging though? Did I really not get any... Uh, more than... 99 or 100 skill in order. That's a lot of Come on. Okay, that one's done for. I feel as if I'm actually cheated here. Look at that. Right. So let's get ourselves this little back up here. Oh, Myrtilus's bow. We got that. So you just have to defeat an awful lot of enemies, and one of them will uh, drop that bow, and you're good. Kind of. In this case, I just use the uh, avoid attacks there. Maybe that was a bit too easy, but who knows? For now, it's definitely a good dress. Ooh! And another insect, another 20 of the lightning. One beetle. So, I have to go back to the teleport, and what is number five doing? Uh, Philosopher's Stone, I don't even know what I get from that, but uh, this is one of those missions I definitely have to finish. Damage like 900. Jesus. <laughs> totally forgot the fact that you also have to use normal attacks that use mana. Once you use the uh, standard auto attacks or like light and heavy attacks on the life staff, then it's so good to use to the fact that you don't waste any mana or anything. That's absolutely amazing. Right. Uh, yeah. Number five. That's the thing that I wanted to finish. Go quickly and retrieve Philosopher's Stone before da 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 da. Uh, I don't know where to get that stuff. But my suggestion is it's in this kind of ruin, and once I'm in the ruin, I may get it. Search chests for the uh, philosopher's stone. Alright, chests though. Oh, 
Mina ist um einige kaputt. Oh, so. Stuff just for normal attacks, it's absolutely not as nice to use in comparison to avoid contact. Unbelievable! The void contact is so much more useful. So, so chest for philosopher stone, sure. I just have to find some chests first. I mean, this is not as easy as you may think. Find some chests. Ah, oh, that's right. And another one there. All right. So I need one out of six. So five more chests. <laughs> That might be uh, two out of six. Yes. Perfect. And of course, you always find a philosopher's stone, like an item that is considered to be of uh, exceptionally valuable. Hmm. Once I lose an awful lot of health, I definitely need to go into over drive mode here. All right, I am looking for chests in the life. If there are no chests to be found, then this area may not be what I'm really interested in, or what I should be interested in. Right? Ah, there's one. Right, number three out of six. Got it. I'm gonna just do some kind of a flame ability in order to do more damage. Just burn them down. There we go. Another one done for. Ah, look at that. The perfect element for the job. Not the kind of tool that I actually want. Need a few more Philosopher's Stone. In order to make that work, I need a few more of those. Uh, 
Nice. Item drop points. This is one problem. I have absolutely no clue where or when those drop points will actually occur. I mean, they could be to the left of me. They could be to the f somewhere else of me, right? Like this is completely random. Ah, oh, it's up. Yes. Maybe I should just uh, walk around it and with a bit of luck I actually find the right stuff. Yeah, with a bit of luck, but it may not even happen. That's still not quite happening. Alright. Not helping. Whatever. Let's just get into those ruins. So I really have to wait until the chests get available again. So I can get the items that the NPC is looking for. Ah, oh, come on. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. It says that I can defeat them and get ex the extra experience, but I want to get the bloody chests going. And there's an end. Either this is the same one that I tried before, huh? Maybe it just regenerated. In both cases, we don't really care. As long as we get a decent ish kind of result, we're alright. So, 3 out of 6 turns into 4 out of 6. Could be one right on the upper floor, so it's somewhat to the side, which it is not. Hey, max out life stuff, perfect. That's just one issue, I have no idea what to level up. That's the thing. Um, better here for everybody. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for that one. The thing is, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm not going to go for a heavier thing. Like, this is one of the more standard things that happen. Hmm. The buff longevity of it might be really useful. But to be absolutely uh, correct on that, I would just want to use another ability altogether. That would be so sweet. So, 4 out of 6 turns into 5 out of 6. We just need one more chest and we're good. Right. 
Got it. Uh, that one doesn't count for some reason. And whatever's up here also doesn't count. So now we got ourselves to a situation where the whole thing may not work as well as we would have intended. Not cool. Uh hmm. That's the fire thing. Uh this is where the other container is. For some reason I can't open this one here. It's really weird. But yeah. Uh, let's just see what the other container is doing. If it actually does regenerate, that would be amazing. Chest for some reason doesn't work. Obviously. So that means I need to find myself another chest. That's not cool. I just need one more chest. Come on. I can't do that because of the NPCs are just absolutely stupid. There's some pigment there and a little bit of fiber. Let's take all of these. Maybe hope that I can somewhat finish the other mission there. That would be amazing. The thing is that it does really take a little while until you can uh, reacquire one of those chest items. It's just that uh, it's really annoying. Like the enemy is a reappear almost instantly but when it comes to special chest items and so on then all of a sudden the whole thing is not working anymore Or something? Yeah, just some random flowers. It was somewhat colorful. Good. I mean, I'm just going in, uh, in circles right now, and this uh, singular fire mode thingy is not everything that we need to know. something that's glowing and that is well, might be interactable there we go that's number six out of six finally that took long enough so uh for this to work i have to go yeah where do i have to go for that go back to the teleporter for some reason uh which is in the north western section 
Let's go this way towards the teleporter. Hope that everything's working out. Then we might be alright. Is up yes actually it tries to attack me I'm only interested in the loot Wait a minute, someone else is actually moving across the bridge. Let's see. I think I can't really get the aiming right. And also, there's a maximum distance for the spells and so on. Right. Uh, let's talk to Myrtilus and finish this little mission. Impressive. We did not expect much. All did at first was there. Oh, you're so staring. I don't aware that uh, different petals may grow from the same plant, so two different plants serve different purposes. I'm not sure I understand. Uh, it would be easier if you were part of our minds. Still, we thank you for we thank you for aiding us. While our minds are divided, it is best for the branch to remain separate from the tree. However difficult their approach is strong. And of course, there's a uh, follow-up for that one. But we're going to do this at another time. Until then. Like and subscribe, of course, as usual. Ta-ta.